When I hear the name done, I think about done right. I think about honesty. I think about integrity. I think about their engagement because they show up in whatever endeavor they're involved with. And uh, that aspect of their presence and involvement is very important. They show up. Well, first of all, we obviously have to talk about the, the big construction business when you hear the name of Dunn because we see it. But on the other side of the coin, the Dunn family is synonymous with giving, sharing, and service in our community, I think. They have done so much for so many agencies. Um, and they've built a lot of really nice buildings for business and for other things. But, but I think their hands out to the neediest people in this community is, is one of their biggest legacies. Um, you know, it's, it's nice to have a building with your name on it and an architectural masterpiece. But it's another thing to reach out to homeless children, homeless families. And they don't seek a lot of publicity for it and a lot of look at me, aren't I wonderful what I did. They're very quiet philanthropists. I think that the main construction that they display is the construction in people, people's lives, the construction that uh, makes a deeper impact. They know that they are creating things that are beyond buildings. They are shaping lives. They're creating a future. And they're uh, contributing to that future. They're making that future good, not only for their children, grandchildren, great-grandchildren, who, because they have been so successful, I think they know, well, well, we will make it. But they know that not everybody will make it, and they want to make sure that we all do. They work with steel, concrete, and glass. Their cranes are as much a fixture in Kansas City as the skyline they helped create. Their reputation is as solid as their buildings. Their status as Kansas City's builder spans nearly 90 years. The J.E. Dunn Construction Company story is remarkable. Even more remarkable is the Dunn family, a family that exemplifies civic responsibility and genuine concern for people. It was that way in the beginning when John Ernest Dunn, a baseball pitcher, an off-season salesman, found himself in the right place at the right time, selling electric supplies just when Kansas City began converting from gas to electricity. J.E. Dunn Sr. started the J.E. Dunn Construction Company in 1924, but he had uh, actually been a professional baseball player he was in the St. Louis Browns chain. He made it as far as Portland in the Pacific Coast League. Probably the top player in the big leagues at that time was making about $1,500. He realized that uh, you could starve to death and, and be a star player. He, uh, he decided that uh, it was more profitable to get into some type of uh, full-time activity. A born entrepreneur, he soon owned his own electric company, which ignited a desire to build. But while he was building a construction business, he was also building a family tradition of giving and service to others. My father was always very generous. I feel that, that if you have been fortunate, you need to give back to those that are less fortunate, probably the best thing that ever happened to my family was the birth of a daughter who died four years ago. She would be 44 if she were living, but she was Down syndrome. My wife and I thought, gee, the end of the world had happened as far as our family, because we had five very healthy boys at that time. We realized that there are a lot of things much more important than the almighty dollar and that's helping those in need. Bill Dunn Sr. took the reins of the company in 1974. He and his wife, Jean, were blessed with five sons, Bill Jr., Steve, Terry, Bob, Kevin, and beloved daughter, Mary. As their family continues to grow, each generation demonstrates their steadfast commitment to the values upheld by the previous generation. To be of service to others is a family responsibility. Countless organizations have benefited from the Dunn family's philanthropy. The MCC Dunn family connection began in 1941 when Jean Dunn, then Jean Aylward, was a student at the college, 
then known as the Kansas City Junior College, located at 11th and Locust in downtown Kansas City. Hocus Pocus Dominopus, we're the girls from 11th and Locust. That building was so old and the floor, you could tell, I mean, you know, there was no, no varnish on it. It was just dry boards, but that didn't matter. It was, it was what, what they taught. They had marvelous teachers and quite a few of them had their doctorates, which was unusual at the time for teachers to have their doctorates. I think I learned a lot. The college company relationship began when J.E. Dunn led the construction of MCC's Penn Valley and later Longview, Maple Woods, Blue River, and business and technology campuses. J.E. Dunn's first project with the Metropolitan Community College District was when they were our general contractor for Penn Valley. They built Penn Valley and that was in 1973. The thing that really stood out in their proposal was that they had the experience and knowledge necessary to bring projects in budget on time. They also had a great reputation with the Kansas City community. You knew if they said they were going to deliver something that they did deliver, uh, they really walked the talk. The company has been involved in more than 40 projects for MCC on its five beautiful campuses. As many others have learned, MCC discovered its relationship with J.E. Dunn is not just with a company, but with a family who actively supports the college's mission. The thing that really has intrigued me about the community college, the benefit it does for this community, so many young people or even somewhat older people can get the benefits of a good education here locally. And I know that the quality of your professors, I think, are just outstanding. You are a very strong part of this community that is extremely important. You know, I probably need to go back to take some computer training because I think every person in, the, in this company has a computer except me. I've always had a, a very efficient secretary. <laughs> On behalf of the Metropolitan Community College, I would like to personally thank the Dunn family for all of the things that they've done for us, for our students, and for the community. Without your help, our students wouldn't be where they are today. Thank you for everything you've done for our agency. Thank you for everything you've done for Kansas City. But particularly, thank you for everything you've done for the neediest people in this city because they are so often forgotten by businesses, and you folks are a big business who have not forgotten. Thank you for your vision, your leadership, your philanthropy, uh, you showing this community what it can be physically, but more importantly, you have demonstrated through your integrity and honesty on what the value system of this community should be. On behalf of the more than 6,000 homeless school children in our community, we thank you for giving them a fair start. Congratulations to the Dunn family on your award, to Bill Dunn Sr. and to the whole family. Uh, we thank you uh, from the community for your generosity and uh, we just hope that you will have many, many more years to, to celebrate. Thank you to all the Dunn family members for all of your service, your hard work, your giving, your sharing, and dedication to our beloved city. There are so many projects in Kansas City that would not be finished or even started if it weren't for the Dunn family. Thank you from the bottom of my heart, and I know Kansas City feels the same way. <laughs>